Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing what happens if you bleach black 3.0, the world's blackest paint. Will it actually turn white or clear or what will happen? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's bleach the world's blackest paint. And then after I show you the bleach experiment, I'm going to be showing you a cool trick to make anything that's black appear white. So this black 3.0 is extremely dark. It absorbs over 99.9% .9 of visible light. So you can do some really cool optical effects with it because you can't see the contours of the objects that are painted with it. For example, in a previous video, I painted a head with it and watch what it looks like when I turn the head on a stick. It looks like the head changes the direction that it's spinning depending on which direction you choose to have it spin. So which way is this spinning? Okay, so this is actually spinning in the counterclockwise direction. This is the same thing that happens during the spinning dancer illusion. Now in this illusion, you can't tell which way the dancer's spinning because there's no visual cues to tell you which arm is actually in front of the body. Now because this stuff is so black, I wanted to see what happens when we actually pour bleach on it. Well, I've done a bunch of bleach videos in the past. I've tried it on a strawberry and I was able to turn the whole strawberry white by soaking it in bleach for a day. And then I even tried it on my own blood. I actually had some of my blood in a vial and I poured bleach in it and I actually turned my own blood white, which was pretty cool. And you know that if you pour bleach in Coke, it turns the Coke pretty clear. So the question is, what happens when you pour bleach on black 3.0, the world's blackest black? Will it actually turn it white or even clear? There's only one way to find out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna have two cups here. I'm gonna put some black 3.0 in it and then pour some bleach in it. And then I'm gonna put some black 3.0 in the other one and just put water in it. And we're gonna compare the two results and see if the one with bleach actually gets lighter than the one with just water. Okay, here's one. Okay, now let's pour some bleach in it. Looks pretty black. Pour water in this one. Okay, now let's stir them up. And the water one. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if this actually turns a lighter color with the bleach. So this is the bleach one. It is looking kind of a slight gray color now as opposed to dark black of the water one over here. Okay, so let's actually compare these. So this is the bleach black 3.0. And here's the water black 3.0. So overall, I would say that the water one is darker than the bleach one, but I don't think it actually bleached the black 3.0. So if you look really closely here, you can see that the one that was in the bleach, the black 3.0 kind of aggregated together. So it kind of came out of solution. Whereas the one with water is very smooth. You don't see any chunks here. So I think the reason it looks lighter is actually because it kind of aggregated together and kind of pulled some of the black out of solution so it doesn't look as black. I don't think it actually bleached it. You can see on the sides of the cup here with the bleach how there's kind of grains here. Whereas the one with water has a little bit but not as much. So I'm guessing that in black 3.0, its color is coming from some form of carbon in it, maybe some type of activated charcoal or something. And in activated charcoal, there still are a lot of double bonds in there, but there's a lot of them. And so we may not have seen a color change simply because we didn't have a high concentration of bleach. So it could be possible to bleach this with a lot higher concentration, leaving it in there for a lot longer time. Okay, so the bleach didn't work, but is there still any way to make our black 3.0 appear white? Well, yes, there is. Remember that I told you that black 3.0 only absorbs 99.9% .9 of visible light. Well, what about that 0.1%? 
If we could just brighten that 0.1% that's coming off of it, it won't look black anymore, but it will look white. So somehow we need to shine a bright light on the black 3.0 and have the background absorb more light than the black 3.0. But since this is the blackest paint on the market, there's nothing really blacker than it. But if you remember a previous video that I did, you can actually make anything arbitrarily as dark as you want if you turn it into a hole. So what I did is I painted a box with black 3.0 with a hole on it, and I'm gonna stick this black 3.0 in front of the box and then shine a bright light on it. And the black 3.0 that's closer to us should reflect a lot of the light and appear white while the background still stays black because it's actually a hole. So let's see if this actually works, turning black 3.0 white. All right, so I have my black 3.0 right here. I'm gonna stick it on the end of my toothpick here. So you can see already that the background behind it looks a little bit darker than the black 3.0. That's because this is just a box painted with black 2.0, and so most of the light that goes into the hole doesn't escape, and so it looks darker than the actual black 3.0. Okay, now watch what happens when I shine my 32,000 lumen flashlight on it. Suddenly the black 3.0 is going to become visible, and it's going to suddenly appear almost white. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at that. I made the black 3.0 white. <laughs> so there you go. If you can make anything appear white by shining enough light on it and making the background darker. So basically the only difference between white and black to our eyes is how much light is reflecting off of the object versus the background. So if you make the background dark enough, then the thing appears white. Turn it off and suddenly it appears black again and matches the background. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out and leave me any comments or questions that you have in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't checked out the Action Lab subscription box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.